Hey, this is Steven, and I'm here to help you get better results out of your textures. Today's tip is going to be on how to get your tiled textures to look less tiled. And I'm going to show you how to do that with three textures that are all tiled. The first one is this one, which is just a sand and uh, dirt texture, and it is tileable. This is a sand one, and it is also tileable. And then we're going to use this as a, a mask between the two textures, uh, but inside Unreal it's called a linear interpolation map or something like that. So with those three textures, uh, they all have to kind of look, these, the first two have to kind of look similar in tone, um, but they don't have to look exactly the same. And the last one, uh, if you should be able to recognize it as just a uh, going to filters and then render clouds. And I did a little bit of a curve adjustment on it to get a better contrast. And that's all I did. And I imported them all into Unreal. And I'm going to place it on this terrain texture down here. So first we're going to do is import uh, the three textures. And I've already done that. So here's my dirt tile, here's my sand tile, and here's my uh, clouds. And then create a new material and call it like uh, terrain uh, tiles uh, and then open it up and what we want to do is we're just going to bring in those three textures the dirt, the sand, and the clouds and I'm going to organize them real quick so that they're easy to use and then I'm going to add in a linear interpolation and the sand goes into A, the dirt goes into B, and then this is going to be our mask. We have to use the, um, the red channel, works best, I found, and then go into base color. And that uh, is just the, that will, I'll compile it and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so it's compiled and as you can see, it really looks pretty bad. I mean, the tiling is just insane here. And now here's the trick to make this actually work. What you got to do is you got to add in a texture um, coordinate node. And you're going to want to make three of those. So I'll just duplicate it twice, one for each one, because we need to use the different scaling for each of these textures. Um, and if you're using a terrain like I'm using, you have to deal with like fractions of a um, fractions of a number instead of whole numbers. Uh, so for our uh, linear interpolation mask, I'm going to put it at 0 0.05, really small, but it actually will make the texture look larger. I'm going to put this one at a 0. Point one and I'm going to put my top one at a 0 0.15 for both the X and the Y or the U and the V uh, coordinate system and now when I compile okay it's done compiling so now you can see that it looks way less tiled than if I had just used one texture and um, it has more of a natural, kind of more organic, less uh, repetitious kind of uh, effect. And this works great for like sand or dirt or grasses. Uh, a lot of like natural kind of uh, chaotic, not chaotic, but a little more organic uh, kinds of things that need to be tiled repeatedly over and over a large surface without looking like they're tiled repeatedly over a large surface. Um, so that is my tip. All right, thank you for your time, and if you like this, just uh, please like it or comment. Let me know uh, if there's anything else that I could be doing to make the, these videos better and easier to digest. So thank you for your time.